My name is Alice Bast and I'm the founder and president of the National Foundation for Celiac Awareness. 10% of the population is gluten sensitive and has to have a gluten-free diet. I'm Victoria Santamani. I am a food science student at Dominican University. I have celiac disease, the intolerance to gluten. Once you ingest gluten, you'll get like flu-like symptoms. You can't tolerate it at all. I can still eat lots of corn, like all vegetables are gluten-free, it's more of grains. I can eat rice, but it's breads, cakes, pizzas, that all has gluten in it because it uses the wheat flour. Gluten-free used to be on the back of the package because gluten-free four years ago meant it didn't taste any good. Now it's turned to the front of the package. The products are really getting to be delicious, the texture is much better, the taste is Excellent. There's so many things out there like brown rice flour, there's amaranth, there's so many alternatives. You can use corn, rice instead of the wheat. The bullseye of the marketplace is the three million people that have celiac disease. So that's that autoimmune disease. And then around that bullseye you have the explorers. You have people that are saying, hmm, I feel better on a gluten-free diet. A lot of people think it's more healthy to go without like the gluten products, the wheat. A lot of people can't digest it anyways. So it's a lot of like lean proteins, vegetables, fruits. So whether it's like ADD, ADHD, autism, um, some autoimmune diseases such as MS and rheumatoid arthritis, studies need to be done, but all these people are out there saying, I feel better without gluten. Again, we gotta go back to the evidence-based studies, but there's a whole population out there saying, when I'm on a gluten-free diet, I feel better. And we're calling that this gluten sensitive community. Right now the state of the market is, is incredible. The growth in the gluten free marketplace it, it has doubled. The marketplace has doubled in the past four years and it's expected to double in the next four to five years.